All right, before we even start doing a tasting video, I actually want to thank Matt for creating this really awesome cutting board for me. I think he was sick of me cutting uh, figs on top of a, a plate, a ceramic plate. The sound probably irritated him more than anything and made me this really cool custom cutting board. I love it. I'll be using this on a lot of my fig videos moving forward. So Matt, thank you for this. I appreciate it. What's happening, everybody? So it's been a while since I made a fig tasting video, but now that we're in the beginning of July, some of the brevas on my trees have been ripening. What you're looking at here is my Natalina, and um, it's pushed out a few ripe figs. I've already picked off one and tasted it um, previous to this video, so I know exactly what it tastes like. And it's actually really, really good. Uh, and this tree, I think I got in 2016 as a cutting. This is how big it's grown in the last couple of years. Um, and here's fruit. All right, so this fruit is not that big. Uh, We'll wait and see how many grams it weighs, but I've already picked off one Breba. There's three on this tree total. And it's, you know, I would say that's pretty decently productive tree because you've got a Breba here and then four figs on one branch. This one has three, that one has one, and then there's main crop figs almost on every single branch. So this Natalina has been proven to be a pretty decent fig for the Pacific Northwest. It has Brebas and then it also has main crop that it follows pretty shortly afterwards. Um, to me, that's a pretty productive fig and on top of it, it tastes pretty good. So let's uh, pick one off right here. And then do a taste video for you guys. Now this actually is not my, looks like there's a little bird damage or something right there, but this is actually not my first ripening fig. Uh, I actually got a Toro that ripened, but the ants got to it before I did. Um, and then a green Goliath. Uh, that ripened actually around 4th of July. Okay, now that I have everything out here on this beautiful cutting board, let's take a, take a, a weight measure of this fig it's not that big 12 grams it's on definitely on a small side for any kind of breba um, but that's okay this actually has a lot of flavor to it and I enjoyed it quite a bit on the previous fig all right let's zoom into this guy I'm pretty happy to be making uh, fig tasting videos again because it's been a very, very long time since last summer that I had a chance to taste fresh figs. I'll admit it, this is actually the third fig that I've tasted this year from my garden. Um, and so it's actually one of the better tasting ones so far. Uh, this is a Natalina. Yeah. It's a small little fig, but actually packs quite a flavorful punch. Really good. Um, it doesn't look like much, but there is a sweet berry tone to it and then a figgy finish on it. Um, and the syconium around here is really buttery. Uh, it's kind of like chewing into the, like a marshmallow the first time you bite into it and with that same kind of texture. It has kind of a really, I mean, it's almost like rich buttery taste to it, which I really, really like. Um, and, you know, add to the fact that this is actually a very productive fig with a Breba that will ripen here and a main crop that will ripen here in Seattle makes it a real winner to have in your garden if you have a chance to get this fig. You know, as far as taste, I would give it about a seven out of 10, sweetness about a six and a half. Um, the size is relatively small, which kind of doesn't dock really any points from it because the flavor is decent on this fig. Um, if I had to keep it, yes, I definitely would compared to some others that are you know, more expensive um, and just don't do well here. What's the point of keeping a fig if they don't produce figs for you and all you do is grow wood? So 
Natalina, really good for the Pacific Northwest. Great in my garden. I really enjoy it. Thanks. If you like this video, please subscribe. It helps me, you know, to know that you guys are enjoying this type of content. Subscribe to my channel and uh, look forward to new fig tasting videos.